name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather this Sunday morning, we first take a moment to pause and reflect on those times that we've sinned, so that we might prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you who call saint and sinner alike to yourself, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you bid us to seek forgiveness of our sins and reconciliation to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our Savior, our risen Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord love and lover of souls, for your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins that they are committing, that they may, uh, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that a God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. It accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed, either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, 
Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it's, it's turned a little cloudy now, but did anybody see the sunrise this morning? Yeah. It was really cool. The sun coming up from the east and the, the sky turning red. It was beautiful. Um, I said to the people last night, you need to thank Laura because last yesterday before I came to Mass, I mentioned I was going to start with a joke. And I said, what do you think about that? And it was dead silence. Now, sometimes it's hard for me to read nonverbal signs, but after 40 years of marriage, I know dead silence means absolutely not or you're crazy. So no joke for you this morning. Now, maybe it was because she thought I was going to be disappointed and not tell him the joke. When I got home last night, I found that Laura had gone all the way to DeMott and gotten a king of pizza, or pizza king pepperoni pizza. Now, I don't know if you have ever had that, but they have crumbled pepperoni instead of the slices on it. And I don't think they've changed the recipe or the taste in more than 50 years. And every time I eat that, it takes me back to my school days. And as I was coming into church this morning, the thought popped in my mind how important memories are and things that remind us of the past. And that's one of the reasons why the church calls us to celebrate All Saints Day and All Souls Day. So that's coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, the homily today focuses on the gospel, but it's very heavily influenced by the first reading from the Book of Wisdom. And I know sometimes we don't listen too closely at the first couple of readings because we're going to concentrate on the gospel. But that first reading really is very important. And so when you get home today, if you have the opportunity, maybe read it again. Much of the Bible can be called multi-optic. Scripture can be read from several different perspectives, from several outlooks. And the gospel today is no exception. Often, the gospel is discussed from the perspective of Zacchaeus. When Father Ted was here for First Communion Masses, he invariably used this gospel. And he told the kids that just as Zacchaeus is seeking to see Jesus, every time we participate at Mass, every time we receive the Eucharist, we encounter Christ face to face. I thought that was pretty cool. Or maybe we think about and talk about the encounter with Jesus as it changed to Zacchaeus. He turned away from doing things he shouldn't have been doing. He became a disciple, a faithful follower. And our encounter with Jesus should do the same. It should cause us to set aside those thoughts, those actions that keep us from doing what is right. Help us to choose in acts, in, to act in ways that help others just as they help ourselves, to be a true disciple. But maybe just for a minute, let's look at the scene from Jesus' eyes. Zacchaeus, right, he's short in stature. He might have been invisible to the crowds lining the route that Jesus took. Or maybe they purposely shoved him aside because he was a tax collector. But Jesus saw Zacchaeus, 
not just saw him, but called to him, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. Jesus saw Zacchaeus and responded to his need for healing. It was just like last week's gospel when Jesus looked past the Pharisee and saw another tax collector standing in the shadows praying for forgiveness. Jesus interacted and responded to all people, sinners as well as the saintly, Jews as well as Samaritans or even Romans, poor and rich, those of the lowest status as well as those of the highest. In the first reading today, we hear that God loves all of his creation without favorites. This gospel calls upon us to reflect on the people that we don't recognize, how many calls for help we don't answer because we don't see the person calling out. Maybe we don't see them because of some physical characteristic, maybe the color of their skin or their stature, or just because they're not attractive enough to warrant our attention. Maybe we don't see them because they might go to a different church or maybe no church at all. We don't see them because, or maybe we push them aside because they might support a different candidate or a different political party. Maybe we don't recognize them because they come from a different neighborhood or a different town or a different country. That's not what the gospel calls us to do. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to condone every action or statement people make. It doesn't mean that we have to affirm every position or belief as if it was positive or proper, or even to remain silent. Indeed, we have an obligation to speak out when someone is saying something that's harmful. We have an obligation to resist evil actions or even actions that are harmful though the person doing them meant no harm. That's also what's required in the first reading. But in all cases, we're called to remember that like Christ, we need to recognize even those who have fallen away as brothers and sisters, daughters and sons of the Father, made in God's image and likeness even when that image isn't so clear. I mentioned that scripture is multi-optic, and in another gospel, Jesus tells his followers to be perfect, just as the Father is perfect. We can interpret that to be as good as we possibly can, but there's another interpretation of perfect, and that means to be perfect 100%. The Father's gaze, his love is perfect in that it doesn't miss anyone. It doesn't exclude anyone. It doesn't overlook anyone, but extends perfectly to all. As we come face to face with Christ in the Eucharist today, Christ who came and died and rose for everyone, let us pray that we may be perfect just as the Father is perfect. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Having encountered our Lord in his word proclaimed and preparing to encounter him in the Eucharist, we lift up our prayers to our God and Father. For our Pope, bishops, priests, and all who minister in the church, that they may strive to keep fresh the message of the gospel in the hearts of the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the nations of the world, that working together they may bring an end to war and strife. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who work in agriculture, that this harvest season may be one of safety and bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For us all, that we may share in the desire of Zacchaeus to see and to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that with the saints they may find peace with Christ in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn the dead, that they may be comforted by God who is merciful, who forgives our sins, and who spares his creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Mary Zerich, whom we remember in a special way at this liturgy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and loving Father, hear the prayers your children offer to you with humility and confident trust, and answer them according to your holy and perfect will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing our preparation song, number 432, How Great Thou Art, number 432.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Edward and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in singing our communion song number 478, Endless is Your Love, number 478.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. And our vocation prayer. God, our Father, you made each of us to use our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire young people whom you call to priesthood and consecrated life to courageously follow your will. Send workers into your great harvest so that the gospel is preached, the poor are served with love, the suffering are comforted, and your people are strengthened by the sacraments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. Some announcements this morning. In the vestibule, you'll find the altar and rosary is having a bake sale after Mass, so pick up something to take home. Uh, also, this is the fifth uh, weekend, fifth Sunday of the month, so the Knights of Columbus will be leading uh, the rosary immediately following Mass. So as best you can, if you're uh, wanting to converse with your uh, friends and neighbors, please try to take that outside so the rosary can begin. Uh, trunk or treat will be today from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in the parking lot. If it's raining light, we'll still do it. If it's raining hard enough such that you wouldn't send your kids out to do trick-or-treating, um, we'll just cancel it. But if it's a light rain and you can use an umbrella, um, come on out and uh, we'll have trunk or treat starting at 5 o'clock. Please, please take home a bulletin. It has the schedule for All Saints Day Masses on Tuesday and uh, All Souls and Day of the Dead on Wednesday. All Saints is a holy day of obligation. Uh, also, um, there's an insert in your bulletin about blessed art. We have them here about every three years or so. Uh, the people that represent the Christians in the Holy Land, the ever-diminishing number of Christians in the Holy Land who are trying to survive uh, through their artisanship of uh, making uh, religious um, objects out of uh, olive wood, olive wood carvings. They will be here next weekend, so if you want to shop for that uh, person for Christmas who's hard to buy for, um, uh, they will be here next weekend after all Masses. Also next Sunday is the hospitality breakfast after this Mass, and in the evening at 6 p.m. next Sunday, uh, we will have the evening prayer of remembrance for all those who have passed in the last year here at, uh, at uh, St. Edward. Also, there will be cake and coffee served after the uh, prayer service in the ministry center. And lastly, just a reminder, next weekend is Daylight Savings Time, so prepare for that. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join us in singing our closing song, number 715, Lift High the Cross, number 715.
please take all bulletins home with you before you leave. Please do not leave. The, please do not leave anything in the pews. Also, a friendly reminder that the rosary is being prayed at this time. So, if you are not participating in that, we ask that you please leave the church. Thank you. If uh, we're ready, we can start. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in, all together, let's do it all together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the points of Pilate, crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the community of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, today we're going to pray the uh, glorious mysteries, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The first uh, glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Bless those in heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, as lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners 
and give you our rewards that then and Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and was to be without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead those souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth mystery, the Assumption of the Virgin Mary into heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for our sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, souls into heaven, especially those who are most needed of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the crowning of the Virgin Mary. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death, amen. 
as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sigh, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thy highest in mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us a reward of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same cross of Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.